up guys, it's Cody here. Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about something pretty exciting, something I think you guys are going to enjoy if you have an older device like an iPhone 6, an iPhone 6 Plus, or an iPhone 5S. But before we get into that, the first thing I wanna do is ask you guys a question. If you have one of those devices, would you upgrade to iOS 13 right now, if you could? Let me know in the comments below. I think we're gonna get some mixed results here just because some people are jailbroken on iOS 12. Is it worth it to lose a jailbreak to go to iOS 13? Probably not. But if you aren't jailbroken on iOS 12 and you're on one of these devices, I would probably upgrade. But I wanna know what you guys would think, so be sure to let me know. So this entire video is about basically putting iOS 13 on unsupported devices. So as you guys probably know, iOS 13 does not support the iPhone 6, the 6 Plus, or the 5S, which sucks for those users, right? Apple's doing its thing where they're like, no, we're not gonna work on those just because we want them to buy new phones or possibly iOS 13 just really isn't optimizable enough for this older hardware. It's one or the other, maybe a little bit of both. But according to a Twitter user, they have installed iOS 13 on an iPhone 6. Hmm, pretty interesting. So it initially got my attention because Pwn to Own retweeted it. So I ended up taking a look at the tweet and this Twitter user has pictures of his iPhone 6 on iOS 13. I mean, it's got pictures from the settings showing dark mode, it's showing the messages, it's showing the device info. And right now there's not any tweaks out there that would mimic this exact behavior that you see in iOS 13. I mean, it looks exactly the same. So since this dude has no prior reputation whatsoever, nobody knows who he is that I'm aware of. I don't know who he is, I've never heard of him. So of course, everybody's skeptical. So they wanted somebody that was reputable, a developer that was reputable to chime in on the situation. Let us know, hey, is this guy just total BS or is this possible and should we believe him? Well, the first person to chime in was Jake James and this is what he said. There are no tweaks to achieve a perfect iOS 13 experience yet, but I can tell you it is real and I know how it's done without anybody telling me I had this idea too. So that's pretty interesting. Somebody that we can put some faith into that's saying, hey, I know how this is done. He doesn't even need to tell me. This is no joke. So that gave some people some confidence that this could actually be real. It even gave me a little confidence that this could be a possibility in the future. But let's do a little bit more digging. So there was a little bit of backfire when somebody looked up his serial number and the pictures on his tweet showed that his iPhone 6 is a space gray. But when they looked up the serial number, it showed a rose gold. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing. I looked up the serial number on Apple and it shows rose gold. But then I looked it up on sndeep.info and it gives a space gray color. So maybe that's just an anomaly. I don't know what's going on there. That's kind of weird. But since one of these sources gives the space gray color, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I wish the space gray kind of showed up on the Apple side rather than, you know, the sndeep.info side. But I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt that it's legit. Now don't be confused. This is not a jailbreak. This is literally just a modified IPSW. And a lot of people saying that you can't do this. Well, you can do this. Jake James has chimed in saying that. You just can't modify individual components. So the way that you would actually do this is by installing an IPSW like you would any other time. I mean, it's not gonna be something that you can do over the air or anything like that. You'll probably just have to install it via iTunes. So it'd be pretty simple in theory to get this set up and get it up and running once the IPSW is available. It's literally just installing it. And the Twitter user that did this actually is saying that it should be available very soon, which is not good, I don't think. This should not be available very soon. Even if it's, you know, packed up and ready to go and he can put it up there for everybody to download, I don't think he should do that right now. I mean, we're talking about iOS 13 beta one. We're talking about the most unstable version of iOS 13. Hopefully it's the most unstable version of iOS 13. And if you put an IPSW that's out there and Apple checks it out, they're gonna patch it in beta two. Beta two, it's gonna be gone. So in reality, what he should do is wait until the official iOS 13 is available. Maybe not even the initial release of iOS 13, maybe he waits for a very stable version of iOS 13 if it's not patched. Might as well, I think. Now this is all still kind of going on as I'm doing this video right now. So I got another tweet from Jake James saying that he's responded to his original tweet where he said it was real and he stated that after speaking with this Twitter user, his assumptions were off of how iOS 13 was installed and that he's gonna stay neutral for now. So he's not saying that it's not possible and he's not saying that it is fake. 
but he's saying that it's not done how he thought it was done. So he's just gonna stay neutral and let it play out. And you're basically getting the exact same thing from Pwn to Own. He's saying he's gonna stay neutral for now too. So nobody's shutting it down right now. It's not like one of those fake jailbreak that comes out that nobody knows who this person is or who this group is and they have a jailbreak and they just send like a single screenshot, you know? I mean, I would hope that this guy, this Twitter user that has it installed on his iPhone 6 does some sort of video showing it boot into iOS 13 or just a video of everything, you know? Just to give a little bit more proof that this is real. Now you'll notice that I haven't, you know, said his Twitter username just because I don't want him doing this for publicity and I don't want to give him, you know, all this attention if he turns out to be fake. That's kind of where we're at right now in terms of putting iOS 13 on older devices that aren't actually supported or compatible according to Apple. So while two very reliable uh, developers say this could be true, but just, you know, chill out, just wait a little while, let's see what happens. That's exactly what I would recommend doing. But the next question is, should you even install it if it does come out? Well, my first initial response would be, no, don't even touch it. Don't even mess with it. There's gonna be guinea pigs out there. I'll be one of them where if you have a spare device, sure, try it out, test it out. But you don't wanna lose a jailbreak for it. I wouldn't lose a jailbreak for it initially just because by the time that this is released, there's gonna be so many tweaks out that are mimicking how exactly iOS 13 works. So any types of new features that jailbreak doesn't already have, they're probably going to have them by the time that this is released. I mean, there's a ton of tweaks that already do iOS 13 features. I actually have a video on it. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll put a link, whichever corner it's in, I don't remember. And I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. But let other people be guinea pigs. Don't screw up your device if it's your daily driver right when this is released. There's no point. Now, if you're not jailbroken, it's gonna look a whole lot more tempting to get to iOS 13 from an older device. I mean, I wouldn't blame you either because you can always restore back, right? But again, I would still wait to see the type of performance that people are getting because officially this is not supported by Apple. The iPhone 6 is not compatible with iOS 13, probably because it wasn't optimized for it. Maybe it's because hardware is lacking. Maybe it's because, like I said, Apple wants you to upgrade, you know? So while it is an exciting thing for, you know, users out there that want to upgrade to iOS 13 but can't right now, it is something we'll have to wait and find out kind of how it all pans out in the near future. Now, if you're interested in this stuff, make sure you hit the like button to let me know because if you are, then I'll keep you updated on this and give you all the information that you need, how to do it, all that good stuff once it's released. So if you wanna stay up to date with that, if you wanna stay up to date with everything that I cover, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.